Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, November the 17th. I've got my friend Andrew Grabau sitting right next to me, or Andy. <laughs> Good to have you here, Andrew Grabau. Good morning. From the heart of Missouri United Way. And today is a very special day, isn't it? Today, November 17th, is Live United Day. Okay, so what is Live United Day? So in just a couple of hours, we're going to convene at City Hall, and we're going to do two real special things. Um, the first thing is we're going to have our second graduation ceremony for our retiree volunteer program, Give Five. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have uh, a, an announcement um, where we will share the decision of our volunteer advisory council and, and our board of directors on our new grants around economic stability and upward economic mobility. Okay, so that's all going to happen today. It's starting at 10 o'clock. Then, once these announcements are made, what happens? Sure. So the financial stability and economic upward mobility effort. Um, these, That's a mouthful. Yeah, I know, right? So we usually just say financial stability. So we'll just stick with that. And to just share what exactly that looks like, financial stability, um, some of our target goals are maintaining and gaining housing stability, gaining vocational and trained job skills, increasing income, job readiness, helping with personal finances, anything that lifts up an individual so that he or she can be economically sustainable. So these three grant, these, these grants are three-year grants that agencies um, will receive where they will do the work of advancing these targets. Okay, yeah. advancing housing stability. Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned in there yeah. working with individuals with their finances. Just yes. A, a lot of times people may not even be aware how to make a budget, do a budget. That's right. And if you don't do a budget, there's no way to know how much money's coming in, how much money's going out, sure. where you're spending it. I, I couldn't live without doing a monthly budget. So here's a really interesting story that, that I heard about that, and it relates to f personal finances. First of all, it's one that every single one of us can relate, right? Except we often have maybe some alternative safety nets or an alternative source where if we have a deep emergency, then we can still get that support. Right. A lot of people in our community do not. So it, there's a story of a single mom um, who is trying to go through school uh, to get her degree at uh, Moberly um, Community College and, you know, is trying to battle tuition, trying to navigate the complex system of, of even Pell Grants while also working, while also trying to figure out car, her car expenses. So having that assistance for, with someone to sit down and just work through a budget and just say, this is how we can navigate this, how we can make sure your money goes as far as it can is going to allow that individual to graduate with their degree mm -hmm. and then to move on and to become more so, uh, self-sustaining and more successful. And right. so that's what these goals ultimately, these programs ultimately want to do. We want to lift up people and help with economic mobility so they can have the same opportunities that we have. I will say, if you don't mind, that while these targets are focused on empowering the individual, and that's an area that United Way recognizes. How do we empower the individual? We also know that the system in place is very challenging to the poor and those who are living on the cusp of poverty. So hopefully these grants will help to challenge the systems and make change so that it is easier for our most vulnerable to ascend up the rungs on a ladder and to become more economically sustainable. Yeah. You know, I think of people who are just barely getting by, just barely getting by. They're paying their bills. 
They're putting food on the table, but one little crink That's comes right. in. Some unexpected expense, That's right. like a car breaking down yeah. uh, or uh, unexpected medical expenses, and that sends you over the edge. It does. That's exactly right. And so if the, you know, the system is, is set up to where uh, individuals who run into those you know, crises, which we all have, like I said, our system that we take advantage of allows us to have those mishaps and to still recover. But the, the system at large is also set up to where an individual who's living on the cusp or in poverty doesn't have many alternatives or options if they have a flat tire or their car breaks down or they have a large medical bill. So these grants are designed to help in building some of those, you know, like, like I said, some budgets and helping people with financial, personal finances, but also the organizations that will receive these grants will provide services that challenges that system of inequity to make it easier for those who are suffering to have a leg up and to actually do, yeah. you know. And I, I think of organizations like the Voluntary Action Center. Yes. The Voluntary Action Center, yes. I think of as kind of a, a, a clearinghouse mm -hmm. to help folks. You go to the Voluntary Action Center, you have a problem, and chances are they can send you in the right direction. Right. And I'm sure they are recipients they are. of United Way. They sure are. VAC is a great partner. They're one of 31 agencies that United Way currently partners with, with 45 grants. Yeah. So Live United Day, we're excited because we'll announce those new grants in financial stability. Those are three-year commitments. So United Way is going to work with those agencies for three years. In and they will have a, certain, a set amount of money That's correct. coming each year yes. for three years. That's right. So they can bank on that amount. They know what they'll have. They know what they can do in the community. That's right. And so that total, when you look at all of our grants, all 45 in education, financial stability, and health, is over $2 million annually that United Way invests on behalf of the community. Who have made the investment in United Way. That is exactly right. Now, I have you, when, when will you be announcing your new fundraising goal? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, really, we turned the page on Live United Day, and we're going to participate in Como Gives. And our target around Como Gives is to support financial stability because we still need to raise those funds in mm -hmm. order to honor those agreements. We will not announce our t final results until mid -Janu late January just because companies wrap things up at the end of the fourth quarter, and that pushes us into the new year. Okay, so at the end of January, you will announce the new, uh, your, your new goal. But people can give to United Way through Como Gives. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. Our you can just give to United Way if you want to. That would be great. For more information, it's www.uwheartmo.org. Correct. Thank you, Andrew. It's always a pleasure having you here and uh, talk about the good work that you and the organization provide for our community. And it's always a pleasure having you join us also. If there's something you would like to hear or see on here, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu.